All right, I'll stop playing around now. I came here to actually do the review on Carnival. It's like the River North area of Chicago. And from the outside, it doesn't look like much. It looks pretty plain. It looks like a warehouse actually from the outside. But when you get in, it is unreal. Let's talk about the ambiance. Let's talk about the atmosphere. I am gonna rate this atmosphere five. I feel like I give every restaurant a five in terms of ambiance, but I wish I could take those other ones back because this one's amazing. It had dim lighting. It had live music, but the live music wasn't distracting. It had extremely high ceilings. There were balconies on the inside of the building. And you know what I really appreciate about the ambiance? This is what always gets me. It wasn't cold. Yeah. Ambiance definitely gets a five out of five for me. My boo thing actually sent me the menus. I don't know what it is about this guy in menus, but he likes for us to be able to look at menus. But for appetizers, we had the shrimp quesadilla. The price of this appetizer was $13. Not bad, but I didn't taste any shrimp. I didn't see any shrimp. I didn't taste any shrimp in it, but I think the fact that they used monster cheese made up for it because it was really good, but I didn't taste any shrimp. So that was kind of a letdown, and I don't think it was worth $13. Like I've had shrimp quesadillas that I thought were better. I tasted the shrimp worth like $80, so there's that. So for the entrees, I had the scallop dish. Now, I don't know why I thought that this place would be any different, but I only had three scallops on there. They were really big, but there were only three of them. Um, and then most of the dish was like this weird pancake thing. It caught me off guard. Um, the pancake was all right. It was kind of sweet. So it depends on your taste. Honestly, in terms of my taste, I wasn't the biggest fan of the pancake and the sauce. It was like a charred vinaigrette that went with it. It was like, it looked like salsa, but when I ate it, it was sweet. I'm not a fan of sweet food that I think should be savory. So honestly, in terms of my dish, um, if I could change my dish, I would definitely say ditch the pancake, add like two or three more scallops in there and throw it on top of some rice or some pasta. That would have made it better, but I'm not the exec chef, so. Patrick's dish though, he had a nice steak. It was like $28 and it was good. They cooked it medium rare. I mean, if they cook the steak the way you want it, it's gonna turn out good. The steak was medium rare. It was kind of thin, but I thought it was better than my dish. I feel like everything else helped bring up the score for the food because Honestly, it just goes down to me not liking the dish that I chose, but there were other options that I could have chosen that just didn't, they didn't interest me though. So that's the thing that worries me is, um, I like Carnival, it's fun, it's fresh, it's cool, it's, it's a good time, but what would I eat? I would eat, I, like, I feel like the appetizers and the salads were more something that I could see myself eating. The entrees, not so much. They're either too expensive or too bougie. His dish was a four out of five. My scallop dish, I'll give it a three because there were three scallops on the plate. What saved the food score was the dessert. That was the most fun aspect of the night was eating the dessert. You know your girl had to choose cotton candy, right? I chose the cotton candy. They brought it out. It was fluffy, floating, pink. All of that sugary goodness you put in your water and it evaporates and, and you eat it and it's sticky on your fingers and your face. It was really good. They put it in a bed of caramel popcorn. Mm -mm. The cotton candy cost $9. Obviously this is all relative. I don't know anyone else that doesn't like caramel popcorn, but I'm just not. It's a great concept though. I like hot candy and all, but the dessert that really got me was the chocolate cigar. The production 
of them bringing out the chocolate cigar was insane. They brought it out in this like authentic brown box and it was inside of dry ice. Our server was actually extra because he was giving it a show. He brought the box out and he was just like, when I bit into the cigar, it actually tasted like tiramisu. So I think there was tiramisu on the inside of it and like it was made out of the tiramisu bread coffee thing. That was delicious. And then it came with some caramel ice cream, which that was good too. But that cigar, it was so good. It was very mild in flavor and I really appreciated it. So I liked the cigar. It was definitely fun. The production of it was fun. It made everything come together nicely. Now, your girl's not cool enough to drink alcohol, but they had mocktails. And I was introduced to the mojito. I had a coconut one, and then I also had a strawberry one. Now the strawberry one's good, but you know, I'm a coconut girl, you know? I'm a coconut girl, so I like the coconut one better. They were both good. Mojitos are really good. I feel like putting alcohol in them would ruin it for me. But the mocktail was... Patrick had a fruity sangria for his drink, and I thought it was cute because it had a little flower in it, and it was like really deep magenta -y red. I enjoyed that. Um, I didn't try it because it was alcohol and I told you it's not for your girl, but it was pretty, it was nice, and Patrick seemed to enjoy it. So I'm not gonna rate the sangria. You guys, because I don't drink alcohol, but you guys taste your sangria, you probably know. It cost, I think, 11 bucks. A mojito cost nine bucks. So you guys tell me if that size of a sangria is worth 11 bucks or not. And if my mojito is worth nine bucks, I don't know. But yeah, the drinks were fun. Carnival overall, ambiance, five out of five. Entrees, the entrees together, I'll give it a four out of five. You know what I'm saying? Desserts, 4.9. Drinks, five. I really enjoyed the drinks. I would give them also a five out of five. So dessert, drinks, appetizer, Entree, ambiance. I feel like Carnival is more of an experience. You don't go there if you're like starving Marvin and you just wanna really just eat until you're full. But we have a video for eating your fill coming up. But Carnival is not the place. Carnival is a place where you kind of dress up, you get cute. You know, you want to you wanna look bougie, you want to look nice, you want to have a good time, listen to live music, maybe dance a little bit. I heard there's a conga line that goes through there sometimes. I don't know. You want to have a party, Carnival's your place. You want to eat and be full? No. No. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. I hope it helped. You guys should check it out. It's actually a good time. It's fun. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below if you've been or if you haven't. Also let me know if you want me to go to a specific place. I have a few suggestions already. So we actually have a queue, but add them to the comments below and we will add them to our list. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.